the Oregon coast. One of the most beautiful destinations to visit because of its scenery. But some of us visit the Oregon coast for something much different. Let's just say, I'm hooked. Got one. Oh! Oh my gosh, dude. Dude! Look at this thing, guys. Spartan Kid Outdoors family, what the heck is going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Spartan Kid Outdoors. Today we're doing some ocean fishing. Man, have I been trying to get out here and do a lot more of this because one, it's super fun, two, it's a little bit different, and you guys seem to also like it. We actually went out into a bay just now. Uh, it was low tide and we were getting the perfect bait, and that being some sand shrimp. We went and got a bunch of sand shrimp, and if you guys are at all interested in seeing how you can forge your own sand shrimp instead of going to the store and paying for it, I'll drop Mondo's channel down in the link down in the description below so you guys can go check out his video and see how we pump those guys out. And look at this guy. He's already on one, this guy. But uh, anyway, we're gonna, we're, we're already rigged up. Let me show you guys a little bit of what we're working with here. And it's kind of the setup to go with when you're on the, when you're on the coast. You're gonna do your one ounce weight. You typically want about a 12 to 16 inch leader uh, between your weight and your hook. I went a little overkill, mine's about 24 inches, but it still seems to be working. Down to a single dropper loop. It's the drop shot of the ocean. To the dropper loop with the two inch bait holder, you slap it on a sand shrimp, stretchy stringing it around, around the hook and keeping it on there and casting out and getting some fish. So enough talking, let's start getting some line wet and slapping, hopefully, some striped perch. All right. So we want to start off by thinking McDonald's for sponsoring this video, but you want to find a nice decent little sand shrimp. If you get a big one, you're just going to want to cut it in half, but if you get a smaller one, like this guy here, you're just you're going to use the whole thing. And you want to be careful with that claw because he'll get you. He's trying to get me right now. So a lot of the times you just simply tear that claw off. You grab your hook. I like to stab it through their head here, like so. Put it right through the head, feed it down the body, thread it down, thread it down, push it up your hook a good amount, expose your hook, and the next thing you want to do is get some stretchy string. When you're fishing out here with these super soft baits that really tear pretty quickly. So grab some around that guy, just like that. Put your stretchy string down. Now that should hold on that hook for a good while. So let's get some fishing. Look at that, you can see a little jelly right there. Oh yeah. I'm not sure if you can see down that far, but look at all that bait fish there too. So there's these little kelp beds right here um, that you're kind of casting around. What we're doing is we're not really even casting. You're kind of just picking a spot next to the kelp bed and, and dropping it down. And you only want to go so far, right? Because, I mean, really, they're hitting it pretty quick off after the drop. And so you really want to set these guys, set the hook on these guys pretty quick because they're, they're finicky and they'll... They'll take your bait. There's a peck. Oh, come on. Oh, see, they took the end of the bait. Look at that. Look at this. Everything that was not stretchy stringed. I'm gonna drop that back down because they'll still definitely hit it. But if I could describe how the bite feels, it kind of feels like a trout would be hitting or a bluegill even. So you gotta be quick on the hook set. Yep, they hit it again. All right, we're rebaited. And we're gonna put right back where we were getting hit. Now these fish are somewhat mobile. They'll stay within the general vicinity, but they do move around from spot to spot. So cast around a little bit, cast them around a little bit and you should find some. Oh, come on. I felt them. You gotta be quick on that set. Oh, there's a hit. There's one. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. Flip them. Whoop. Look at this guy. Beautiful fish, guys. Got some weight to them, too. Oh, man. They do have some pokey spines. 
So you want to make sure when you're handling the fish that you're being cognizant of that spine. There we go. Oh, rehooked him there. Look at this beautiful fish, guys. Oh, 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 oh. And he just got me with the spine on the finger. Look at this fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at this, guys. Right here on the Oregon coast. I think we're going to end up keeping this guy. Your bag limit is 15 here on the Oregon coast. And there it is, guys. Just like that, we got a fish. So all you need is a one ounce lead weight, a two inch bait hook, and a little bit of sand strip and stretchy string, and you can get some fish. Enough talking, let's get to it. All right, we're rebaited, and I'm gonna get you, dang it. There's a lot of little bait fish right here, which is kind of cool. I mean, you might even look out and get a rock bass. Here we go. There we go. This is the guy that's been messing with me. Gentle good sir. Mondo, do you want this one? And that'll give us a better grip. There it is. Another beautiful fish. In the books. If you guys are at all interested watching a cat, doing a catch and cook with one of these fish right out here on the water, drop a like and drop a comment down below and let us know. That's the only way I'm gonna know if you guys wanna see these videos. I've been using half shrimps. I'm gonna go ahead and toss on a full guy here. See if that makes a difference. Here we go. Here we go. Just had to let him take it a little bit. This one's fighting. Ooh. Ooh, this one's a nice one. Dude, look at the colors on this guy. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at the colors on this guy. Oh man. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm gonna let this guy go. Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna let himself go at this point. No, 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 no. I will let you go, buddy. I promise. All right. This guy's too pretty to keep. Let's uh, drop him down here. Here we go. Ready? And there he goes. And he's off. Man, that guy was pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's see if we can't get any fish. You gotta be careful on these edges. This one's fighting. Dude, this has got to be my PB. This has got to be my PB. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude. Slap, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this perch. Oh, look, that's my hand. Oh my goodness, guys. Holy mother of Lord. Look at the colors on this guy too. I don't have a scale or anything, but that, that's pushing two pounds. Easily pushing two pounds, maybe even more. This guy's a really nice color. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I think I'm gonna let it go. Let's get him back in. Thank you for letting me catch you. Holy mackerel, dude. Look at this. Surf perch right here. We don't want to keep him out too long. Torpedo him in. And there he goes. Well, guys, that is going to be all she wrote. One heck of a day, man. One heck of a day. First time ever catching a striped perch or any kind of perch for that matter. I uh, haven't even caught uh, the freshwater perch. So, man, if you guys live on the Oregon coast and you're able to do these simple rigs, if I can catch fish out here, you can too. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Subscriber, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time one of these juicy videos comes out. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And we will catch you guys on another episode of Spartan Kid Outdoors. We'll see you guys later.